You need to delete your data from 23andMe right now. I'm Eliza Orleans, career public defender for 15 years in Manhattan, and I've been screaming for years about people voluntarily surrendering their DNA to databases because I've spent countless hours litigating to try to keep my client's DNA out of a database. Maybe you never heard me say that you should not voluntarily hand over your DNA to anyone, let alone 23andMe, these for-profit companies. If you did, you need to watch this video in full. Yesterday, 23andMe declared bankruptcy. And so deleting your DNA from their database is more critical than ever. Because what happens when companies go bankrupt? Well, their assets get sold off. And guess what their most valuable asset is? It's your DNA. Now let's back up for a second because this bankruptcy announcement comes less than two years after a massive data breach which exposed the genetic information for 6.9 million users. And unlike a stolen credit card, you can't get a new DNA sequence. But here's the real nightmare scenario. With 23andMe going bankrupt, your DNA could be sold to God knows who. It could be sold to pharmaceutical companies, insurance companies, governments, foreign entities. You have no idea who's going to end up with it. And if you think that the US government is gonna step in and stop this sale in order to protect you, well, look at how much they care about data privacy. Spoiler alert, it's not much. Even before this bankruptcy mess, your DNA was not safe because law enforcement could use these DNA databases to track people down, even if they never consented to be in the system. And yes, they caught the Golden State Killer this way, which sounds great, but the reality is, once your DNA is out there in one of these databases, you lose control over how it's used. Now with 23andMe's financial collapse, that loss of control can be permanent and absolute. So what can you do? If you've ever used 23andMe, screenshot these instructions and go delete your data immediately. They don't make it easy, but it's worth it. Here you go. If you've never sent your DNA into one of these companies, don't. Not 23andMe, not Ancestry, not any of them. Don't ever voluntarily give away your DNA. And finally, warn your family because some distant cousin who gives their DNA over could still implicate you at some point down the line. This isn't just about privacy, this is about control. And once you hand over your DNA, you may never get that control back. So spread the word, delete your data, protect your DNA and make sure you're following me here and on all platforms for more on your privacy and your rights and why it matters. Thanks for being here.